Hi, welcome to my channel, Hippie Flips. I'm Carrie. If you are a DIYer or just considering painting a room in your house, you are gonna wanna watch this to see which of these two tools is the better one to buy. Hi, I'm Carrie, CEO, leadership coach, and master trainer. And I'm a design-loving, DIYing, furniture-flipping maker. Today, I'll be comparing two products, the Wagner Smart Roller versus the Purdy Power Lock. Which one should you buy? Stay tuned to find out. I was really curious as a DIY painter who had done a fair amount of painting, which of these products is better overall? And you have to look at a few different factors, ease of application, ease of use, speed, and quality of application. I just finished priming the bedroom and it's looking so great. As you can see behind me, there's primer on the walls and it's looking awesome. Feels like a huge step in the right direction. I'm so excited about this. Can you see me? Like very excited to use this. I already got my roller loaded up and so now we'll go ahead and get the paint going. I am using Super Paint by Sherwin-Williams in the color Creamy. It's a off-white, white color, and I have not yet opened this can. One of the first things I like to do is actually give it a good shake. You want to make sure that your paint is incredibly mixed. Most people stir. I am going to also stir. However, when you're opening up a new can, it's so full of paint that when you stir, paint will start to ooze out. And so you have to be a delicate stir, which is why I like to do the pre-shake. That definitely looks like a creamy off-white color. One recent kind of hack I've seen is to tape off a triangle of tape on your can basically to make a little pour spout. So I'm gonna try that technique today and just make sure I connect the two angles up top here and then kind of fold them down. I need to make a little bit of a triangle effect here. Just gonna make sure those are kind of pressed down. So in theory, the paint is going to come up over the lip and down this point and less will be on the front. But you know what? We actually have to do some more stirring. This paint is so thick and creamy, it's like pudding. I have learned the hard way that getting the right paint product makes a huge difference. And I really, really love Sharon Williams paints. I love Benjamin Moore paints. I love Kelly Moore paints. They're just such high quality. So this is looking really mixed. That looks beautiful. So let's see if this whole like little tape spout thing works. Let's see here. Okay, I don't hate it. 
and ready to catch the drips. All right. I would say that was fairly successful. Let's look at the pink can underneath. What do we see here? Wow. using both tools, let's break down the pros and cons of each. When it comes to the Wagner Smart Roller, there were several pros. It was easy to set up. There was no additional roller tray needed. The application definitely was faster because I didn't have to go back to the roller tray because there was no roller tray and the coverage did come out very even. When it came to the cons, the Wagner Smart Roller was really heavy once it was filled with paint. And because it was heavy, it felt a little flimsy or I found it difficult to hold. I never could get quite a good grasp on it. And the cleanup was really long and messy. Also, you have to buy proprietary rollers that do cost more than your average roller. With the Purdy Power Lock, the pros are that it was really easy to set up. It was super sturdy, the length was adjustable, and there was no additional cleanup. You just take off the roller. When it comes to cons for the Purdy Power Lock, really there weren't any. It was just more frequent trips to the roller tray in comparison to the Wagner Smart Roller but this would be standard practice for regular painting. The Purdy Power Lock Pole was the winning tool for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe so I can continue to grow my channel. Speaking of which, I wanna thank two of my recent subscribers, Matt and Mary. I appreciate you. Also, if you haven't yet, please watch my desk flip makeover right over here. See you next time.